we are in the middle of the desert. These conditions are very harsh for plants, for animals, for people. And when you live here, you start to appreciate everything. Like every small plant, every drop of water is, is becoming more important and is more valuable. Desertification is a phenomena which affect large tracts of our planet. It covers almost 40% of our surface. An area which was productive turns into a barren area in which crops will not grow and therefore it looks like a desert. We are standing here in an area where the total annual precipitation is 100 millimeters. That is very, very little. Still, 2,000 years ago, uh, civilization flourished in the area, as were the Nabataeans. And they managed to survive in this area in which we believe that the rainfall was not so different from what it is today. By using the floods that are generated in deserts, this is a characteristic of most deserts, that when it rains you've got floods, and they diverted the floods into plots, like the one that we are standing by, in which the water was concentrated, left to percolate into the soil, and then crops could grow. We store the water in the soil, it percolates deep, and only the roots of the trees can take up this water. The water will not evaporate back into the surface. As you can see behind me, we are in the, in the desert of Israel. This area is very dry, temperature very high. We have three different uh, grapevine rootstocks, which differ in their tolerance levels. We are using Shiraz, and it's the Scion. We try to see if we can utilize new water source, such as saline water, which we have 800 meters below us. We try to find new agro techniques, which are more suitable for the desert, uh, starting from uh, melching. We want to find a, a good material which, which we can melt the ground to prevent evaporation from the soil. Second, all this vineyard is uh, irrigated by a sub, a subsurface drip irrigation system. All the drippers, all the pipes are buried 30 centimeters below the surface. The third thing that we try to find is new uh, trellising techniques which will improve the light penetration to the canopy to improve the quality uh, of the grapes at the end. Currently, the water use efficiency in the world is really low. 50% of the water uh, will go into the plants and 50% will be wasted. We are investigating the water use efficiency of the corn plants, uh, trying to monitor uh, the root system of the corn plants using uh, very sophisticated uh, cameras. Doing uh, this monitoring enabling us to change the irrigation regime, namely the quantity and the scheduling of the irrigation. Our aim is to improve the crop per drop, the amount of yield that we will get from the corn plants, for instance, to the water amount that we will apply. We want to do it also in a sustainable way, that uh, if we have waste of water, uh, the water that will flow below the root zone will not contaminate uh, ground waters. By manipulating the root system, we can acquire more nutrients, more water in harsh conditions. For instance, we can do grafting, taking part of the plant from one variety and taking another from a different variety and graft them together. We can uh, change the irrigation and the fertilization system and we can use many other agro techniques that can improve water use efficiency and nutrient use efficiency.